I went back and looked at my sort of childhood fairy tale books and, and fairy mythology and, and I thought I want to make a film that's effectively a fairy tale for adults, not children, but something which was grounded in reality and could be terrifying. I, f I felt like there'd been too many kind of vampires and werewolves and zombies, so I looked into Irish folklore and mythology and there's a lot of, you know, fairies aren't sort of twinkly sort of tinkerbells, they're dark, strange creatures that, you know, do all manner of things. I was looking at changelings and banshees and fairies and trying to explore these great crazy ideas and then think, well, if that was real, where could that have come from? These people have got certain beliefs. Beliefs? They believe that the forest that you're trampling on belongs to the hollow. The hollow. The good people, fairies, banshees, baby stealers. So this idea of, you know, maybe someone being touched by fairies or having second sight could actually have come from a scientific place of being infected by something and at the same time was looking at nature and nature shows and saw a David Attenborough program on cordyceps, which is a, a parasitic ant fungus, um, where a fungus, an organism, can infect the brain of a living animal or insect in this case. I was looking at combining, you know, mythology and, and science and nature and the idea of nature's revenge. I looked at a lot of films that I love from the 70s and 80s, um, like Straw Dogs or Deliverance, or um, more recently Pan's Labyrinth. I thought if I could bring that sort of naturalism and reality in, um, as, the, as the basis of the story, and then introduce mythology and, and fairy folklore into it, I thought it would be exciting to see what that would um, feel like if, if it really felt real, like what's behind all the all the fairy tales and the mythology that we've heard about and try and make a film that was a visceral, visual and um, entertaining horror movie that could make the mythology feel grounded in reality.